Hey y'all, it's T and welcome back to Tea Time. In this video, I decided to go out to Kroger and Publix to finish out my Feast Mode Ibotta bonus. This is everything that I came up with. I think I did pretty good. Um, I started out at Kroger. Only a few things that I picked up. I picked up some milk. It was $1.49. There is a I bought a rebate for 10 cents back. That does not count toward the bonus, but it is a few cents back. I picked up some eggs, the 18 count, they were 97 cents. I had a 47, no, a 40 cent coupon, making it 50 cents. The Cool Whip was 219. There is a offer from coupons.com that will give you $2.50 back which will make your free plus a little bit of overage. Not overage, but of a little bit of a money maker. And then the Optic White Toothpaste, this was $5.99. I had a free coupon for that. All right, so the total that I paid out of pocket here was $3.85. I got back the $2.50 from um, coupons.com. And then I also got back the dollar for the Colgate toothpaste, then the 10 cents for the milk. So that totaled up to $3.60 that I got back, making all of these items 25 cents, all right? And um, quick heads up on the coupons.com app. If you guys saw my video a couple of weeks ago, I was using the app incorrectly. Um, I've never had the coupons.com app as I print my coupons from an actual computer or laptop. So when I downloaded the app, I saw offers and I was using it as, and I like it, like I use Ibotta and that is incorrect. For those of you that saw my video a couple weeks ago, that is incorrect. You are only supposed to use that app if you do not have a paper coupon or a digital coupon for the item. Like just say you go in the store and just like I just bought this Cool Whip and it was $2.50 back, that is the correct way to use the app. You cannot use a coupon on the product and then redeem for basically the coupon value again from coupons.com app. That is incorrect. So I'm not perfect. I stand corrected on that. I will not be using that app and I have not been using that app in that way, but this is my first rebate that I've redeemed since I made that video, but this is the correct way to do it. Use no coupons and then redeem for your money back. All right. So moving on to Publix, this is everything that I picked up over there. I wanted um, steak tonight for dinner, so I incorporated that and I basically made it work. All right. So I'm going to tell you all the deals. Oh, before I move on, here is my receipt from Kroger. I forgot. Moving too fast. You can see the 219 for the Cool Whip. The milk was one. Um, oh, the milk was 109. Hmm. It was priced for 149 in the store. Okay. And then the eggs was 97 cents, and then the toothpaste was 5.99. All right. So my subtotal. Minus the tax was 385, and then I got back 360. Okay, now we can move on to Publix. All right, so again, this is everything that I picked up at Publix. The first deal that I did was the Fisher um, Chop Pecans. You can get these, or you can get the regular ones, like if you wanna do baking or something like that, you can get the regular ones. They are a little bit more expensive but I got these for the purpose of putting them on salads because I eat salads like crazy right now. So anyway, the um, pecans were $8.69 BOGO. So there's a dollar off of one coupon in the 1115 Smart Source. And there are also $2 rebates from Ibotta for each one. So 
So basically that all takes off, you can say $6. So you would pay $2.69 for two or $1.35 each. And I believe if you get the regular ones, those are priced at $9.49 at my store. I think it'd be like a dollar and 60 something cents per bag, which is not bad at all. And these are the 10 ounce bags. All right, moving on to the, I don't know how you pronounce this, it's either Cabot or Cabot, I don't know. This cheese right here, this was $2.25 um, BOGO, well, excuse me, $4.49, but at my store, it rings up $2.25 or half price. So $2.25 each, there is a dollar off store coupon in the winter savings booklet. If you cannot find that booklet, you can print them from the winter savings website that I will probably link in the description box. There are also 50 cent rebates on each one. All right, so after you use that coupon and the rebate, takes off $1.50, making these 75 cents each. And these are the eight ounce blocks. All right, the Chabani Coconut. This was just free with a digital coupon. I think it was priced for a dollar and that digital coupon made it free. The Faye Total 2% Yogurt. This was a dollar. There's a 65 cent I bought a rebate, making it 35 cents each. The So Delicious Pairings Yogurt, a yogurt alternative. This is $2.29. There is a dollar off of one digital coupon as well as a dollar off one I bought a rebate. After you get those back, it would make it 29 cents. The um, Breakstone Sour Cream. I decided to stock up on this because I use it in my cheesecake when I make it. And then I also, we use sour cream a lot. And then I check the dates on these and all of them don't expire to January. So that's why I went on and got five. They'll just sit in the refrigerator and they'll be good to go. But I'm sure these will be gone within a few weeks. But anyway, these are 119 each. They are BOGO, but they ring up 119 at my store. And then after that dollar rebate, makes them 19 cents each. All right, the Kraft uh, cheese, this was $2.25, they're BOGO for $4.49. So $2.25, there's an I bought a rebate for 25 cents, making it $2 a bag. The Nor Pasta Selects, these were $1.99 each. Both of them came up to $3.98. There is a dollar and seventy-five cent off a of two digital coupon, bringing it down to two twenty-three. There is well, I had an offer for fetch um, one hundred percent back in points, so I'm supposed to get back three ninety-eight. I had to contact them because they did not give me my full offer. They just uh, refund. I mean, gave me the rebate as if I just purchased a um, Unilever product, but um, they're supposed to give me three ninety-eight back. So these should be free plus a dollar and 75 cent money maker. All right, the Mueller's pasta. This was BOGO at my store at 85 cents each. Um, after they, the 75 cent off a two coupon from the 11 one smart hey. source, as well as the 75 cent off of two, I bought a rebate. After you get those back, it will make these just 10 cents each. All right, the Del Monte vegetables. These were BOGO at my store. I think it was a dollar and 69 cents. Uh, I think it was a dollar and 69 cents. But anyway, they rung up for 65 cents each at my store. All right, I had a 50 cent off a of four coupon from the 11 one smart source. After that coupon, it made these just 53 cents each.
All right, the, I guess, Wasa multi-grain crisp bread. These were, well, this was $2.96. There is an I buy the rebate for $3.29 back, making it free plus a 33 cent money maker. And I needed a few sweet potatoes for dinner tonight. And I also wanted steak for dinner tonight. And you can see the price on that steak. $21.32. All right, so let me show you my receipt. All right, you can see the steak at the top, the Fisher pecans, the um, cheese, the potatoes, the crisp bread, the Knorr items. There are the three yogurts, the Kraft cheese, the Mueller's pasta, the Breakstone sour cream, the corn, the sweet peas, and then my coupons are here. You can see the dollar off for the Chobani, a dollar off for the So Delicious. And then that dollar 75 cent off a of two coupon did not come off even though it was um, for the item. So she put it in manually. I just showed it, showed it to her on my phone how, that I had it clipped. So she put it in manually. And then I had a 10 off of 50 coupon from Lowe's Foods that I used at Publix. My Publix accepts competitor coupons. And those are my coupons for the, um, the 75 cent was for the pasta. The 50 cent was for the uh, Del Monte, I had to think. <laughs> the $2 off of ones was for the Fisher Nuts. And then you can see the $3 off for the cheese. My total was $41.19. Paid that out of pocket, but y'all, I got back $26.44 from Ibotta. Yep, that's what I got back. $26.44 because it was $16.44 in rebates. And then the $10 was because I completed my feast mode bonus i was only nine offers away so i did eight offers here and then one over at kroger all right so and then from kroger i got back a dollar and ten cents so let me give you the final 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 breakdown all right so i paid a total of 45 dollars and four cents out of pocket that was 41.19 at publix three dollars and 85 cents at kroger so I got back a total of $27.54 from Ibotta, $2.50 from coupons.com, and then $3.98 from Fetch once they approve my receipt. So that totals up $34.02 minus the $45.04 that I paid out of pocket. That brings my grand total to $11.02 for all 29 items or about 38 cents each. That is a crazy, crazy good deal, especially because I got a $21 pack of steak, all right? So, um, yeah, Publix was pretty good. It's been a minute I've scrolled back on my channel and I haven't done a Publix video since July, so it's been a minute. It's been worth it. I'm trying to get back into Publix, start paying attention more so I can get in there weekly so I can bring y'all videos. But if you have any questions about anything that you have seen in this video, please post them below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching.